station breaks are a special treat. Whatever the nonsense, Dean went through with it. But just once. <laughs> Dean never attacked a song. Dean performed a song. And to perform a song, okay, you have to understand the lyrics. You have to under have a feel for the music. And that's the way Dean worked. And with that came the charm and the smile and the look and all the marvelous moves that Dean had. It's, it's like the difference between watching Fred Astaire in a number. And he's brilliant. He's fantastic. He's precise. He is the most precise performer I've ever known in my life. I was lucky to be able to do one of those shows. He's fantastic. I was also fortunate enough to work with Gene Kelly. Gene Kelly had great moves, great dancer, but he had more of a feel for the room and for what he was doing. And Dean, of course, was like Gene Kelly. Other guys, precise guys, performers, not performers, singers, were like a stare. Gene used to love to work with Dean. They just felt the great companionship, feel, performance, and they understood one another. Am I blue? Am I blue? blue? Ain't these tears in these eyes telling Wait a minute, uh, Gene, I can't go on. I'm all choked up. You mean all these blue songs were too sad for you? No, I think I have my shorts on backwards. Oh, oh <laughs> But you're right. Those blue songs are awful sad. Let's sing something bouncy. OK. Rock hell well. Bouncy <laughs> number. Yeah. I'll tell you what we'll do, Dean. Let's sing some happy blue songs. Happy blue songs? Yeah, you know, like uh, Blue Skies or Bye Bye Blues. Oh. That's the saddest title I ever heard. What? Bye Bye Blues? Oh, blues. I thought you said Bye Bye Booze. Oh, no. <laughs> blue skies smile at me. Nothing but blue skies do I see. Days, all of them gone. Nothing but blue skies from now on. few doctors I know wear tuxedos on the job. But on Dean's show, that didn't seem to bother anybody. <laughs> Least of all, a guy like Johnny Carson. You, you the head of the hospital? 
Yes, what can I do for you? Well, I have a little complaint to make about your hospital. You see, I was, uh, I was here a month ago to have my appendix out. Well, I really don't know how to tell you this, but you see, I... <laughs> it's just one of those crazy You want us to put your appendix back? <laughs> but let, let me tell you what happened. You see, I was in a, a semi-private room, mm -hmm. and the other patient in the room didn't want to be by the window. So we, we switched beds, you see. And we were scheduled for surgery the next morning, both of us. Well, to make a long story short, they gave me the operation they were supposed to give the other patient. What kind of operation was that? It was a sex change operation. We're very careful how we treat patients here. I mean, at this hospital, we aim to please. It's not your aim I'm complaining about. We never had anything like this happen before. Well, what is your name? Green. Cynthia Green. Cynthia? <laughs> We sure did a good job. Mm. Won't you please sit down? <clears throat> oh, yes, yes, please. Tell me, Mr. Green, that's Mrs. Green. Oh, I'm sorry. Not half as sorry as my husband. <laughs> Um, it's just, but I, I, I don't want to complain. <laughs> you poor dear, but try and look on the right. Try and look on the right side. This could... This could... We're opening a lot of uh, new doors for you. Like what? The men's room? We do a lot more things together now. You do? Mm -hmm. Three nights a week, my husband and I go out looking for broads. <laughs> You know, Mrs. Green. Just call me Cynthia. Cynthia. Mm -hmm. Don't you know, Cynthia, the hospital will do everything in his power to make commands. Just tell us what you want. I'll tell you what I do want. I want you to get the best doctors, the best nurses, the best surgeons in the world. I want you to bring them all here together at the hospital at your expense. And I want you to right this terrible wrong that you've done me. You mean you want us to change you back into a woman? No, I want you to talk to my husband. I want you to meet him. Uh... <laughs> 